78 Sports TV here. Salute to the mighty LDBC, Lions Den basketball community in this case. Smash the like button, hit the subscribe. Also, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I drop a new video. And if you're digging the video, go ahead and share this joint. So, ESPN has just announced more layoffs. We all knew this whole year that ESPN was going to start laying people off. Uh, they have making cuts, major cuts. So now they're starting to reveal who some of these layoffs are. Um, Jeff Van Gundy, former NBA coach, and, um, you know, now he's let go with all his expertise. Uh, Keyshawn Johnson, according to the reports, he's been let go. Max Kellerman, um, according to some reports, I'm not sure if Max Kellerman is completely gone or if it's just um, his um, that show that he does with Keyshawn jo uh, Johnson. Keyshawn Johnson is out. Susie Colbert um, is out. And a slew of other people are out of ESPN out of a job. Jalen Rose being one of them. Jalen Rose, after almost 20 years of service to ESPN, former NBA player, uh, expert in basketball analysis, uh, one of the, the stars of ESPN was let go. Somebody decided it was a good idea to, to cut Jalen, okay? Uh, but somebody uh, in their boardrooms or whoever made these decisions decided that seniority didn't matter, um, and loyalty didn't matter. They were going to go with uh, keeping somebody like Malika Andrews, who constantly embarrasses herself, uh, someone who is not uh, a fan favorite. Uh, Malika Andrews um, initially was a pretty face, that they put on television and most simps that's all they see is a pretty face and they didn't pay attention to a lot of sneaky stuff she was doing displaying the fact that she despises men um i believe malika andrew should have been let go malika andrew should have uh took a job with oprah on the oprah winfrey network or lifetime movie network or uh you know one of those uh channels where she can sit down and uh bash men and talk about all the stuff she wants to talk about, things that are really important to her, because I'm tired of her personal opinions about men and black men in particular. I'm tired of that stuff seeping out in her sports analysis, and it happens a lot. Um, Malika Andrews embarrassed herself on draft day, getting colleges wrong, um, bringing up charges and allegations against players and stuff like this, stuff that nobody else is talking about. But she talks like she is some uh, uh, Barbara Walters, CNN reporter or something like this, and not an ESPN an, uh, uh, an analyst. So um, that's, this is the problem, right? ESPN is a male-dominated uh, arena, a male-dominated network. Men watch that to watch sports, okay? Um, you can't force somebody down our throat who don't like us, right? No, don't nobody want to see that. Right, so you get rid of the, the the fan favorites to force like the draft day was horrible. Just just go back and look at draft day. That was one of the worst drafts, NBA drafts I can I, I remember in history. Maybe the worst one in history. None of our favorite people were on there. All these new people, all these chicks I ain't never seen before. I'm like, well, how did she get the job? How did she get on TV? Where's where's you know where's the uh, uh, Kendrick Perkins and, and and other guy? Where are these people at? So, you know, this is why female athletics are failing, because uh, the, the women who get these jobs are, are concentrated so, solely on trying to prove that they belong next to the men on the stage with the men instead of uh, advancing the WNBA, advancing women's boxing. Right? I never hear these women breaking down female sports. I always hear them breaking down male sports, and usually – they're doing it from a very biased perspective. Uh, but I just feel like Malika Andrews, I ain't going to turn this into nothing else. I just feel like Malika Andrews should have been gone. Now, I like Monica McNutt. I think she she's a former athlete. I think she knows what she's talking about in most cases. Uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? But Malika Andrews is something different. I don't know how she got the job. Uh, you know what I mean? Some, some shady going on. But I'm disappointed the ESPN – let go of Jalen Rose. You know, I wish Jalen Rose nothing but the best in um, his future endeavors. I'm sure he'll land somewhere well. 
in this today's day and age, you know what I'm saying, Jalen Rose can get him a podcast right here on YouTube and, and make him a couple hundred thousand dollars, you know what I mean, a month, you know what I'm saying, when he get to his peak, you know what I mean? So he'll be, he'll be fine. But um, that's if he wants to go that route, you know what I mean? But, yeah, ESPN is suffering because mo- most people – are getting the information from online from channels like myself or channels like y'all channels that's watching this. Uh, they're getting the information from YouTubers and um, people from other, other, uh, other uh, walks of life on the internet. They're not really going to these networks anymore. No, nobody want to hear uh, no matter who's in the finals, you are still talking about the Lakers, no matter who's a free agent uh, and, and who got what cap space y'all still talking about, how the Lakers can get this person? Lakers ain't got no cap space, but but you know I don't know, man. If the Lakers just move this guy, maybe the Lakers don't nobody want to hear that mess, man. All day, every day, the Lakers, the Lakers, the Lakers. Nobody want to hear that, but Laker fans. Period. But anyway, man. So that's why ESPN and these other networks and stuff are, are, are numbers are horrible. You know what I mean? So they're gonna keep being more hor- horrible uh, with, with the um, additions of people like Malika Andrews. This, this is not a personality uh, that fits a male-dominated arena like ESPN. You know what I mean? It's just it's just not. She don't got the right personality type. What about Molly from ESPN First Take? Why why hasn't Molly been let go? Because uh, I mean, what does Molly actually do? All she does is literally call commercial breaks. For Stephen A. Smith. Okay, guys, we gotta go to commercial. Okay, 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 guys, okay. But wait a minute, but wait a minute. Okay, guys, uh, 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 come on, man, I can do that. Get, get me get some money. Can I, can, I get some, can I get paid? This is ridiculous. Molly has been, people have been complaining about Molly, her interrupting, being annoying. They have been complaining about Molly for I don't know how many years. Years since she's been on ESPN first take, and they still got her on there. But but Jalen, he gone. See how this work? Unbelievable. But that's my opinion. Y'all let me know what y'all think. 78 Sports TV, salute to the mighty LDBC. Smash that like button on the way out. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on your notification bell. I'm a part of here. Deuces.